time-battered temples and homes of Kathmandu, above and beyond the hills, rise skyward the abode of snows.
least in January, Feb, because of the snow and cold. The most in October, end of monsoon. Like, so you'll be passing plenty of Sherpas and Yaks, carrying loads you couldn't imagine. spaced villages providing shelter at night. Moderate fitness and 300 euros for a two week trek should get you acclimatizing slowly. Shanty, shanty, shanty. Peace and solitude of no roads. Just a highway to thin air.
every short turn glacier on our way to Dole. We're not quite sure how far it is because we took a wrong turn. And we're a little bit hungry, could do some chai and um, something warm. A lot of snow fell last night so our porter is even finding it difficult to find the tracks. <laughs> of the Yeti. arrived in Dole and it's a ghost town. There's nobody here. Um, seems like everybody shut up shop for the winter. Um, we're absolutely starving. We haven't eaten since 9 o'clock last night. We've had a long trek, a lot of uphill trekking and um, we're going to try and find some local people to give us some tea. What have we spotted here then? Civilization. This town's coming like a ghost town. This Turns, coming like it goes down. Sadly not to local cuisine though of dalbat, rice and lentils, or cabbage and potato. Did more adventurous can go for buffalo momos. But the panorama that is Mount Himalaya, one visit is rarely enough.
A bit of a casualty here. 5,400 meters maybe, and she's fucked. Thank you. 